what we have here is the traditional R66. But what we've done is taken this aircraft and we're installing our SkyOS system. No cyclic, no pedals, no collective. A single control stick that allows the pilot to operate the aircraft in every flight profile required. All right, well, let's do it. Okay. Confirm cabin heater off. Okay. Shake that step. All right, confirm area of kink. Okay. And now you're going to just slide over for the engine start. And we'll go and put the typical six pack, completely <coughs> automated engine start. So you don't have to have your hands on the controls, right? This is a full authority fly by wire system. It can hover better than you can. Dude, automated it's off, off it, really, no kidding. Completely off the controls. You're going to push the white bar and just slide it to the top of the box. There we go. Power's going to start to increase. Tool. Yeah. And you'll see just like in a typical Robinson, like a red suit comes up, you get left in the light. Oh. All right. Now we're in the hover. Right on the center line, by stable hover. Yeah, so what, what we've done, we've, we've removed all the standard uh, traditional helicopter controls and we've put all that functionality into a single control stick. You have a uh, forward movement to accelerate, backward to decelerate, you have a turning motion, and as well as a twisting motion at lower speed and then the hover to perform a pedal turn. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a pedal turn. And this is how you're gonna start getting used to the feel of the control, right? So you're already starting to figure out y'all. Mm -hmm. So you can see with the deflection, how much you deflect it is what rate you're gonna command. And as soon as you release it, it's gonna capture that hitting. So, and that's what we would do with the feet before. Correct. Okay. Okay. That's a max pedal turn, right? And now release, boom, it stops and heading over. So it's definitely it's definitely different. I think what I'm more excited about the most is that uh, I think my wife would fly in this with me at this point, and uh, she's scared she's scared to death of helicopters, and uh, I think this will more remind her of a car and all the safety features in this thing. I think she'll be uh, willing to fly with me places. This is the thrust lever, right? So or thumb control lever. So put your thumb on it, and you're gonna push up. You don't have to push up. Now let it go. All right, we're gonna stay with that down about 120 feet. And you can see based on like, you know, the displacement is how much I'm gonna climb. And if you release it, it's gonna go back to zero. So it's gonna hold it at 60 feet? It's gonna hold it at 60 feet. Oh, wow. We're just gonna enter the pattern. Hey, one of the things I, I talk about with guys is, you know, you're in the pattern, let's say towers like, hey, traffic, 10 o'clock, one mile factor, right? Typical helicopter, like I still am like, you know, where am I just, you know, where am I at? I'm still looking for birds. You know, probably only 60% of my brain space is looking for that traffic. A typical helicopter, you're not taking your hands off the controls during a takeoff like that, right? It's, no, 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 no. You know, I'm trying to remember. Of course not. Yeah. No, you can't. <laughs> so how do you cycle like speed? Yeah, how yeah, do you? You're just going to push forward. Okay. Yep. And hold it. Remember, hold it until you see 60 on the white. So okay. Five, six, seven, yeah, six. And now release the back pressure to the center. And it's going to hold 60. Okay. Can I tweak a little bit of rudder and see what happens? You can. What it's going to do is put you a little bit out of yeah, uncoordinated flight. Yeah, so it's it basically kill. like, yep. Yeah. See, I was putting you out of uncoordinated yeah. flight. Yeah. Yes. It almost makes it feel more like an airplane where, you know, you don't have to be on the control full time like, no. like you do helicopters. So what it's doing right now, at low air speed, below 30 knots, you never want to be more than 300 foot per minute rate of descent because you'll enter what's called vortex ring state. Yeah. Right? And so that's another example of the flight envelope protection. And the other thing it's not going to let you do is hit the ground at 300 foot per minute, right? So now I want you to take that thumb control lever and mm -hmm. go all the way down. So you see how it's stopping you at 300 Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. And so think about, you know, I got a high rate of descent. I'm coming in. I don't realize that I've slowed below 30 knots. It's automatically going to take a lot of that descent rate out, even though you're a full down. Yeah. Nice. Right. Let's start our turn to the right. So one of the things you have to be careful of is a lot of people, when they turn right, they either like to push forward or pull back. You want to try to keep it right in the center and turn to the right. Yeah. Again, helicopter, like, as I start turning, if I overbank, I'm going to lose altitude. Well, I've said, hey, stay at 600 feet. MSL, and so it's not going to let me lose altitude. So full deflection, go all the way to the stop, right? It's not going to let yeah, me overbank, go. right? Okay. Right? I could overbank, right? Because my, my lift vector comes up to my rotor. I could overbank, but I would descend. Yeah, yeah. So it's limiting my angle of bank because I've commanded something else, right? If I wanted to descend, I could descend and it let me do a higher angle of bank. Oh. Right? So that's another function of the dynamic flight envelope protection. Interesting. 
It'll stabilize out, make that left turn to go back to the runway. A little bit more back stick. We're looking for the refrigerators. Release the thumb lever for a second. There's 30 feet. Yep, now you're right over the runway. We take our hands off the controls. This is going to maintain a hover over the spot that you, you, you're at. And then they can yep. swipe down. You see the power starting to come up nice and steady. Look at it to that on the landings, like it's pretty impressive. You're really not flying much, you're giving it a command of what you want to do and monitoring, which is good because then you can do other things, other tasks. Yeah, this is going to change the aviation a little bit as far as helicopter. Yeah, we, we think so.